All right, guys. Um, injuries from the game. Um, I think as you guys saw, E-Man uh, towards ACL. Um, Jimmy Ward has a broken hand. He'll um, he'll get surgery tomorrow. We'll have an update um, after his surgery and how much time he'll miss. Um, Nick Bosa growing. Um, we'll reevaluate him on Wednesday um, when we start to practice. Bobby Gold, knee contusion. Um, same thing. Uh, well, he has some swelling, but we'll see how it goes throughout the week. We're working out some kickers tomorrow just in case. Um, Demo, um, he has the wrist, should be fine. Um, Jeff Wilson with the shoulder contusion, he should be fine also. Go ahead, guys. Kyle, what is the plan for Mosley? Is he going back or will he stay with you guys this week? Um, I assume that he's going back. I didn't ask that. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I don't know yet. Sorry, but I assume he's going back. Kyle, with Jimmy Ward, uh, when, when you say it's going to be uh, – you figure out how long he's going to miss, is there a chance he could play with, like, a club, or is that kind of still what you're trying to figure out? Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. I mean, I, there is a chance, so that's why we want to see how the surgery goes and um, figure out if he could, could do that after it. Kyle, did, did you get the sense that with Nick, it was more precautionary to keep him out after his groin tightened up? Um, I mean, I, it, was, it was bothering him today. So, um, I mean, yeah, you always want to um, use caution, especially with Nick on that type of stuff. But, I mean, I know if he went today, if we practiced today, he couldn't go. Um, so I'm hoping he does better throughout this week. Um, but, yeah, it's, it wasn't feeling great today. Uh, what are what are kind of your initial thoughts on how you will go about uh, replacing Emmanuel? Obviously, you have multiple options there. Um, I mean, we we got multiple options, as you know. I mean, guys were in that position last year. Um, you know, we also got Dante on our um, you know, veteran who's done it before. We got young guys. You know, as you guys saw, Womack was a possibility, and um, you guys saw. And Ambry held that role pretty good last year towards the end of the year. So we'll figure it out this week, um, but we haven't made our mind up yet. I know it's all very, you know, it's very soon, but have you had a chance to talk to Emmanuel and, and knowing obviously that he's in his contract year, have you, have you had time to kind of express how much uh, you'd like to keep him around? And I, I have not gotten the chance to. He's been away today. Um, but I know he knows how I feel. I've told him that before, before the injury. So, um, and I know I'm, I feel the same, if not stronger. So it was real sad, unfortunate thing happened to him. He was playing his ass off too. And, um, he's going to be very missed this year and, um, really, really hope to have him back next year. Hey, Kyle, into the future, I know you indicated Barrett isn't probably ready this week, but into the future, is he a, a viable option as far as you know, being a candidate to start at Mosley's spot? Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if Rhett's good to go, I mean, he's, um, you know, Rhett's a big-time corner. Um, so if, if Rhett can get these practice reps and get out there and get um, fully healed and um, get back into game shape and ready to go, I mean, he'll end up being our guy. I realize well, I know you said one. You I know said just one part thing. of the game, but but can you? Um, it seems like you you've taken key players more than your fair share are getting injured. Is there anything you can? Does it seem like that to you? And is there anything you can point pinpoint to why that's happening? That key players get injured. In terms of, it just seems like. You guys have had more than your fair share of very important players getting injured the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I think it happens to other teams too. So I don't want to say we're the only ones, but um, yeah, it's a challenge when it happens. Um, so just keep, I hope to have better luck. Kyle, after the game, George was talking about how it probably would be who the league to have similar services if they are going to be artificial across the league so that it's consistent. Uh, do you think that would help at all? 
Um, I don't really know. I I just I know how, how much everyone prefers grass, and I think George said it best. I think yesterday when um, I mean we have we have concerts in our stadium all the time. I think Elton John played there this weekend, um, and I just love that we always get grass, and, and it's always new, and they always resod it, and. Um, I know you got to do some extra stuff to get that done, but I can't tell you how big of a difference it makes for us um, glad that we don't have to deal with that stuff in our stadium. Kyle, just give me uh, Barrett's injury history. Will you put I mean, it would be quite a story if he was able to come back and, and kind of flash his was it 2020 form? I guess you, you're clearly not putting it past him. Oh, I'm definitely not putting it past him. I mean, JV is, and I'm sure you guys have seen a, a, a little bit of him just being around him. I mean, he's is, he is uh, he's a very impressive person, and he's gone through as much um, bad things in his career that he has continually had to try to overcome. And man, what, what, I mean, playing the whole year in 2020 and the type of year he had before all the things that happened before that was unbelievable. And he had to, again, had to set back the next year in week one versus Detroit. And he's been working like he always has to come back from that. And um, he's gotten done the work to where he's healthy enough to get into practice now. But um, we just need him to practice some so he can make sure that he can hold up through all everything and get his skill set back. And um, if he does do that, I think, I think you guys know, just like most of the people in this league know how good of a corner JV is. Kyle, how did uh, how did Jimmy Ward get his hand broken and just you know was he in disbelief just after you know just making his debut in one play? Yeah, I mean it happened on the opening kickoff. Um, so did it on the first kickoff and in Jimmy Ward style, he just truly he didn't want to accept that it was broken, so he stayed in there for the next play, um, a couple plays, and they finally realized it was. It, Actually, that happened to him on the first play versus Tampa Bay in 2018 also. Um, so it was just unfortunate, and hopefully um, the surgery will go well and um, he'll be able to come back and help us. But it was just a bad break you got. Sorry, one more. Yeah, Kyle, just, do you have any kind of general thoughts on, you know, the nature of your business when, you know, you, you arrive in West Virginia and find out the next morning that, you know, the coach, Matt Rule, that you coached against the, the previous day has been let go from his job. I'm just wondering how that how that struck you. Um, it never feels good at all. I mean, of course, it's, you know, um, I mean, we all compete against each other and stuff, but we also um, can relate to each other a ton. And it's, um, you don't just think about the head coach, you think about all the other people involved too. Um, you know, the whole staff, all their families, um, it puts a lot of stuff up in there, and that's why, I mean, every every single decision that you make, I always think about, you know, where my kids are going to go to school <laughs> the next season based off of it. And, you know, I just had that growing up. You know, I've told it, said it a lot, but it's the first place in my life I've lived longer than four years. Um, and that's, that is part of this business. So everyone knows it. That's what you sign up for. Um, but you also know how tough that is on the individual and all the families and people involved in it. So you never wish that on anybody. And um, got a lot of respect for Matt. Um, and I hope he, um, I know, will land on his feet. And I uh, hope he finds a, a better situation for himself. 